So welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Lena. So in today's video, I'm going to share a makeup tutorial look for beginners. I'm going to create this makeup look uh, that I am wearing right now for you guys. So wishing you all a very happy Saraswati Puja. Batao mujhe comments mein aap log Saraswati Puja pe kya karne wale ho, kya plans hai. And in case if you're planning to step out, you all can try this kind of look. This is very minimal, very basic and beginner friendly. Bahut zada efforts zale ke zorat nahi. Mane bahut hi simple and subtle sa brown lips, brown eyes wala makeup look try kiya hai. And I'm sharing it with you all here via this video. So I hope aap log ko ye achha lage. And agar achha lage to comments mein zorur se batao. ये भी बताना इफ यूल वॉन्ट मी टू ट्राई सम अदर लुक्स एज वेल बिफोर वी मूव अहेड विद अडियो प्लीज मेक श्योर टू टेक आउट अ मोमेंट एंड लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल हिट द बेल आईकन सो दैट यू कैन रिसीव फ्यूचर नोटिफिकेशन वेन एव आई अपलोड अ न्यू विडियो सो हाई फ्रेंड्स एम सिटिंग बेयर फेस हेयर ऑलरेडी डन विद क्लिनसिंग एंड टोनिंग आज मैं करने वाली हूँ सरस्वती पूजा अप्रोप्रिएट मेकअप मेकअप लुक फॉर सरस्वती पूजा सो आई कीप इट वेरी बेसिक एंड मिनिमल एंड इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ बिगिनर्स मेकअप ट्यूटोरियल फॉर ऑल दोज हु आर ट्राइंग टू लर्न मेकअप एंड आर न्यू टू इट इट्स गोइंग टू बी अ बिगिनर फ्रेंडली मेकअप ट्यूटोरियल सो विदाउट मच ऑफ फर्दर टॉकिंग लेट्स जस्ट गेट स्टार हेयर आई एम यूजिंग इन एस फ्रीज जेजू ऑर्किड moisturizer to moisturize my skin always make sure to properly cleanse tone and moisturize your skin before applying any kind of makeup to create a perfect base so here i have applied a lot of cream to make sure that i get that dewy wala base and also it's really important to keep the skin hydrated before applying makeup so that skin dry na ho and base makeup bahut hi flawless lage The next step I'm going to apply Nykaa's Prep Me Up primer to create a perfect base so that my makeup glides on easily. Primer also helps covering any visible pores on your skin and it gives a flawless base uh, to apply foundation on your face or skin. Never forget your neck area just to make sure that your face and neck looks even toned. So here I am with the next step I'm applying a Fit Me foundation from Maybelline. I am in the shade Natural Beige. Uh, I kind of find it closer to my skin tone and uh, I love this foundation from Maybelline. It's a beginner friendly foundation and it's quite affordable as well. It gives me that perfect dewy wala look. It's not an exact match uh, from my skin tone uh, i kind of felt while doing this look uh, but it blends uh, quite perfectly uh, into my skin and uh, gives a flawless base for sure so ye aapko video mein aage dikh jayega so i'm using this beauty blender from plume and it's quite a nice one it's a bit expensive but it uh, soaks in very less product while applying makeup like you know foundation soak in nahi karta hai zyada so which is a good thing and i absolutely like this beauty blender so here i am blending the foundation onto my skin and we'll see how it looks like once it's all blended properly I'm almost done with the blending part and I kind of like the base how it has turned out to be. It's quite dewy and shiny. You can see that. I hope so that you're able to see the glow on my face. It's quite a glowy foundation which I absolutely love and it's my go-to foundation. I absolutely love uh, makeup products from Maybelline and it's one of my favorite brand and it's like really affordable and beginner friendly as well so yep let's move on to the next i'm applying a lip balm from lacme it's lip love lip balms from lacme just to make sure that my lips are hydrated uh, before i apply the lipstick i'm using maybelline's compact here काफ़ी यूज़ कर लिया है तो नाम मिट सा गया है यहाँ पे एंड शेड नंबर भी आई डोंट रिमेंबर इट्स समथिंग नेचुरल बेज आई बिलीव दिस इज़ अ ड्यूएल कॉम्पैक्ट इट कैन एक्ट एज अ फाउंडेशन एंड कॉम्पैक्ट 
both but i've never used it as a base product like as a foundation i've always used it as a compact only so here i am adding some compact instead of loose powder because i kind of like compact more than loose powder because i sweat a lot on my face so i avoid applying loose powder because uh, loose powder thoda time ke baad you know it starts melting in case if i'm sweating on my face um, but uh, this compact stays for long so the crux is i prefer using a compact or a face powder over a loose powder Never forget your neck area while applying makeup just to make sure that your uh, that the skin of your face and your neck looks even toned and doesn't have a color difference. Next I'm using this uh, eyeshadow pencil from K Beauty. It's an eyeshadow highlighter and it's in a uh, brown shade and uh, the name of this shade is Juma I believe. Uh, whatever the products I'm using, I'll mention it in the video somewhere. I'll also mention the details of the product in the description box in case if you are uh, maybe interested in checking out the details of the products that i've used here in this video here i am using my fingers to blend the eyeshadow onto my eyelids it's a creamy eyeshadow and easily blendable using my fingers so i preferred using fingers over brushes here and uh, yeah it does an absolute fine job and i'm done with the eyeshadow part and uh, Let's move on to the next step. I'm applying some cold in the lower lash line of my eyes and I'm using this kajal from K Beauty by Katrina. So yes, it does a fine job. I am not a huge fan of this kajal because it's not easy to apply. I mean, it takes a lot of time to apply this kajal. I mean, it does not work in one stroke i would say and here i am applying some mascara from l'oreal paris it's the lash paradise mascara that i'm applying here uh, most of the youtubers and instagram influencers have been raving about this mascara so i thought of why not giving it a try and it does a great job so this is how the lash paradise mascara from l'oreal paris looks like I'm using this LA Colors 3D Blush Contour Palette. It's a face palette uh, and it includes contour, blush and highlighter, all three of them in one palette. And it's quite a big enough friendly palette and quite affordable. Oops, I've taken a lot of product, I believe. Uh, need, need to work with a light hand with this product. Uh, yep, chalo, koi nahi. I'm using this brush from Swiss Beauty to blend in the product on my cheeks. So I'm done with the blush and a next step would be applying a lot of highlighter. That's one of my favorite part of when it comes to applying makeup. Well, I didn't like the highlighter that much uh, from this face palette because it doesn't show up on my skin. Uh, neither it adds on to uh, the makeup like, you know, neither it uh, gives that uh, glow on the face. So I will maybe try and use some other highlighter as well on top of it because this one doesn't seem to be working at all for me i'm using this eyebrow mascara from color bar to shape up my brows lighting here is a bit off and i can feel that now while editing the video when i started off filming this video uh, it was daylight i mean during the evening time but now the sun has gone down and uh, yep so the lighting is a bit off and uh, it might not be the same throughout the video so kindly excuse me for this and i just realized while editing this video that i'm making funny faces while applying eye products <laughs> don't know why here i am using a lip pencil from k beauty it's again the same brand k beauty by katrina kaff it's in a brown shade i don't remember the name of the shade but i'll mention it somewhere here in the video this is a chocolate brown colored lip color uh, which i absolutely like and it's quite handy and easy to apply it's creamy in texture but once it dries down it turns into a matte kind of lipstick I'm using this uh, sugar contour face palette in the shade Vivid Victory. I'm going to use this palette to highlight my cheeks. I'm going to use the highlighter from this palette. 
only the highlighter and nothing else because i already have the blush on it's a multi-purpose face palette and it gives that instant glow to my face and adds that highlighter while effect on my cheeks it's advisable to invest in such face palettes uh, that are multi-purpose and includes a blush highlighter and contour kit so i'm almost done with the makeup and it's a simple basic brown eye brown lip makeup look and i'm adding some accessories here to amp up my look and i'll be styling my hair and we'll be back with a final look adding some earrings here as well to of course as i said adding some accessories here to amp up the entire look I want you. So that's the final result. I hope you guys like this look. And if it's good, make sure to mention in the comments below. I would love to read your comments. Trust me guys, your support means a lot to me. And I cannot be thankful enough for you guys. Your comments make my day. And I'm, I'm extremely grateful that I have uh, such a great YouTube family. I miss you, Thank you all for making such a great YouTube family. Uh, you guys are extremely wonderful. So comment karke batao fada fad se kaisa laga ye look. And if you want me to make more of such makeup videos, makeup tutorials for beginners, if you want to see more of it, let me know in the comments below. Also, batao if there's uh, some specific look that you want me to create, I can definitely uh, try my hands on it and uh, come up with new ideas and videos. So, batao fada fada se comments mein kya acha lagta hai aap logo ko dekhna. Aaj ke liye bas itna hi. I hope aap logo ko ye video achhi lagi ho and achhi lagi ho to fada fada se like, share and subscribe kar do and bell icon ko bhi press kar do so that you all can receive future notifications whenever I upload a new video and this makeup look. Uh, uh, is appropriate for any healthy function as well because wedding season is already on and maybe you can take an inspiration from this look I've kept this look very subtle and beginner friendly so you guys tell me how you feel this look kaisa laga and do you all want me to come up with more of such makeup videos makeup tutorials for you guys uh, and pura outfit ka picture and video bhi main share kar deti hu to give you all an idea how my outfit looked like and what was the outfit of the day so that you all can get an idea ki ye pura look us outfit ke sath kaisa ja raha hai so that's it for this video i hope aap logo ko acha laga ho ye look so this is the final look and my outfit of the day and uh, this can be worn at any haldi function as well in case if you're attending in any marriage i'm going to wear it for sure my cousin's wedding maybe okay so this is how you can style this yellow outfit i'm wearing a yellow skirt an embellished skirt with high neck sweater and a banarsi dupatta let me know in the comments below if any of you would be recreating this look I definitely am going to recreate this look during haldi function of my cousin's wedding. So, yes, that's it for this video. Catch you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, enjoy your life and stay stylish. Bye now.